Well, howdy everybody. Just doing an update. Uh, what's going here on the painting table? I've been working on my Musty Wargamers painting challenge. As you can see here, there's been a little bit more work done on my skellies. My skeletons have been slowly progressing along. I think I posted a picture of these guys, but I'm getting all the base colors down on these guys and then I have to go in and do some more, a little bit more work. But right now you can see the progress that's been made from, it's like started, what, 27 years ago, somewhere in there at least. And now they're slowly coming along. So there you go. And got a little standard bearer here these guys so i got the reds and started blending the browns and i gotta go in and do a little bit of more washing and stuff and bring out the highlights on these guys but you can see here they are slowly coming together and so once i get all the details on these guys done and then it's uh, where are they at here they are Still have them on the sprues. Have the uh, shields. I'll do all most of the work on the shields, and then they get uh, glued on. So you see the little holes right there. See that little knob right there. It just goes right on top, and just a little bit of glue, and there they are. That should be how they work. That's the idea, at least. Which is kind of interesting is that back in the day, they used to put all these guys on, uh, it's like you mount them on three, yeah, three base section where they could put them all on. But, looking good. I figure a few more days worth of work, hopefully I can get to work on them. Like tomorrow, uh, my shed is supposed to be showing up. I tore it down a month ago because of the duration of the uh, storm. You know, trees fell on top of it and squashed it to the ground along with everything inside. And I tore it down and pulled everything out and just found out. I was out there yesterday looking at stuff because I was like, oh, the wind blew the tarps off my stuff. No, the winds didn't blow them off. Someone came in and rummaged through my stuff and stole a bunch of my stuff, so... Four mountain bikes are gone, and a bunch of tools, or sh like shovels and stuff are gone. So, yeah, you just gotta love the human race. But, yeah, you got this guy's here for the catapults. Let's see, a little bit of work on this one. It's getting closer. This one, I have to do some details on that shield and highlight stuff. But, the shield, or the shit, yeah, I can't even say it shed is supposed to show up tomorrow so when that shows up i'm gonna be putting some work in on assembling it putting it together it's a metal shed so get that going again so i'll slow things down a little bit and here's another guy for the mix it's like every there's a handful in here that are not identical i have the other standard bearer looks more like a gladiator that's being used and i see somewhere in here there's where's the drummer there he is got the drummer his drums are made out of bone so I got to do something about, you see the inside right there, I'll probably make it a, either a black or something, red or something. And the rest of it looks like it's assembled with bones. So put it together. Get all the stuff done. So, pull those guys out. All of them, only about the only difference between them is they're they have some have helmets and some have chainmail coifs. So, 
other than that, they're pretty much identical. The bodies are all the same. It's just the heads are slightly different. And, yeah, you just like to look at these guys. They're slightly different, too. So, that's what's on the table for painting at the moment. Still have those Battletech miniatures back there. I did the work, so, like, maybe some of these days I'll get back to working on some more Battletech, but I want to get these, the painting challenge stuff done. But something came in the mail today. This. I've been keeping an eye on some Fire Forge games miniatures for a while here because I'm just curious about their scale. And this box is supposed to be $35, but I picked it up for like $20 off of eBay. And they just put it up there and it's like must not be a very popular set of miniatures because it was up there and I was like, well, if no one wants to buy it, I'll give it a shot. So I bought a box and it has 30 foot knights from the 11th through 13th century. And I only paid 20 bucks, so that's less than a buck a miniature. I'm willing to take a chance on something like that just to see how they look. So, this reminds me of some of the games where you just get these plastic screws when it comes to these thin square bases. Eh, it works. So you get 30 of those. There must be 12. Uh, yeah, 12 per big one. And then you got these. They remind me sort of of... Like Warlord games in a way. And you have enough shields. Let me see, it looks like they got a shield arm. It's like one side is smooth. And obviously it must go in there with the shield. Let's see. It just marries up on the smooth side because it looks like it's slightly curved on there. That's interesting. No instructions, so you just kind of eyeball it, I guess. And then you have the bodies. And it looks like there's 10 bodies per sprue. And your choice of weapons are swords. Lots and lots of swords. I like my wife is going to be walking in the door and she'll be yelling, I'm home. Most likely. I'll tell you. And so, yeah, and we've got a assortment of heads here on this, and looks like a few heads here, different style. Let's see if that will focus on it a little bit. There we go. Sort of get your different heads, and looks like standard. Old style head helmets. You get a little bit of everything. They look pretty simple to put together. So you, your only options are swords. Looks like they're going to have a sword on their hip. It looks like that's in a scabbard or they can be holding a sword. It looks like your choices. And you get... Um... Yeah. So there's 10, 20, 30. So everything looks the same. So you get three identical sprues. And that's interesting. There's, uh, that, what is that? That can't be a dagger, is it? Looks like a dagger of some type. Or quiver for crossbows. But I'm not seeing anything other than swords. But it does look like a quiver for crossbow bolts. 
I'm not seeing any other weapons other than swords. So why would you put those there? Interesting. Huh. Oh well, things that make you go, hmm. So, that's a quick look at that. So, I'm going to put a few of them together, probably paint them just to see how they scale up versus a lot of other... Come on, focus. There you go. The uh, different uh, systems that I have and see if they'll be usable for other game systems like Warhammer, Fantasy, or even a uh, Crusades. Even, well, Crusades, for that matter, by themselves would work really good. And those, this box is the Foot Knights, which would be during the Middle Ages, Knights were the ultimate warriors. So, be like the Crusades. That's what they're for. All right. Hope you guys like it. Like and subscribe and share with all your friends. And we'll see you in the next one. Oh, Craig's out.